Oh, so, um, okay. We're here at uh, the Bazina Bar. Um, Wizard has just played a really great show. Yeah, yes, Lisa. It's uh, really awesome. And, um, we're now uh, interviewing uh, guys from Wizard, so maybe you could uh, introduce yourself. Yeah, of course. Uh, hello, uh, this is Snoppy from Wizard. I'm the drummer. Yeah, good night. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, hi, I'm Volker Song from Wizard, and I said it was really, really fucking great here in Groningen. One more time. Yeah. Well, we enjoyed it as well. Um, so I just learned this was your second gig of the year. You really enjoyed it, I hear. Um, first thing, uh, I've, I've read a bit, and um, you seem to have this band as a, as a kind of hobby. Yeah. Um, was it always meant to be this way, or...? Um, is it just how it grew? Uh yeah, uh, I think we started uh, with it when um, when we were about 16 years old, and um, of course we wanted to reach a high level and to get professionals and everything, uh, but it did not work out that way <laughs> because I think we drank a little bit too much. <laughs> but if you see what we um, did all the time, and um, um, then we. I can say, for my uh, personal uh, um, meaning, uh, we reach very much. Uh, we play everywhere in the whole world now, and um, we have great fans, and um, it's very great. It's just hobby, uh, but it's very great. Um, the the, um, the advantage is that we can do what we want. We are not uh, dependent on money or on anything else. Uh, we can be just pure ourselves and that's very great so we are free to do whatever we want and the people like it we are lucky that they like it but if they would not like it um, it would not matter to us because we play what we want and that's great that's yeah. very good that's I think that's the spirit of wizard we are not bound to anyone we are not we are only bound to wizard to our five men and we say yeah, we make a we don't say anything, we, we, we make a practice and we compose and yeah, if there are 10,000 if there are 10,000 people on the world or 100,000 people on the world, they love it, it's great. If there are only one people on the world, it's great too. It doesn't matter to us, we make that what we want and we do not. Of course it's great, it would be, of course it's nice for us to see that very much people like it. Yes, it's, it's, it's better than if you see that only one people like it, but uh, we, we take it like it comes, so yeah, yeah. everything yeah, is it's, it's, it's also for your own uh, fun, because uh, I, 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 that's, that's what I saw tonight, yeah. you're really enjoying what you're doing. And I, I also think that um, getting professional is, is also very much luck. If uh, hundred thousands of people would buy our albums, we would be professional. But it, it's not like this, so we have this as hobby, and that's okay. Yeah, because I was really surprised because tonight we play for really less less money, and we have so much fun. It was so fucking great, and the audience was. It was so fucking great. I was oh, and the goods and the, oh, it yeah. was so fucking great. Yeah. Yes, of course. That's and no one disturb you and say, oh, "How's the clock?" And you have to play half an hour more and so on. No management. No fuckers who wanna kill us and and no who wanna say, "Oh, there were two guys here who said, you yeah, you have lost the battle." Mm. I said, hmm, yeah, we have lost the battle. No, I don't think so. We make a great party tonight, and that's 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 what we want. When, yeah, I used to uh, heard about the band uh, last year when I saw your live in uh, my hometown uh, called Stadsnal. Um and I was really surprised how, how good you were, and <laughs> I never heard of you guys before. As uh, that's so what most people say uh, when listening to us the first time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. It's as I said. It's uh, it's luck. Um, mm -hmm. If you uh, get through to the people with your music, um, nowadays very much uh, go through downloading everything, and um, 
you have to be present on all internet platforms. Yeah, on uh, social media. Social media and everything. And um, I don't know, I think it's a, a lot of luck. And of course, you also have to do very much concerts nowadays. Uh, and we only do about 10, 15 concerts a year. And it seems like it's not much enough to reach everybody. No, no, that's right. Are there any plans to play more on bigger festivals? Uh, we are all married, you know. We have all fat families and uh, we have all one or two children. And we pick up the best. We can play every, every, every weekend. It's no problem for us. But uh, we don't want. We have a family and so on. Uh, our drunken singer is. is yeah, every, he wanna f He <laughs> wants that I fuck him. Yeah, later. And <laughs> so that, yeah, that's our family, you know. It's nearly 25 years together, we are all crazy. Um, One finger, two fingers! <laughs> so, <laughs> fist! <laughs> Somebody has been drinking, I think, yeah, but um, it doesn't matter. That's the truth of every matter, you know, party, yeah. have drinking, and yeah. it doesn't matter to us if you earn money or not. We want to have party and we yeah. want to have fun and that's a, that's the reason why it makes it shit and yes of course so what was the question one more time <laughs> yeah, so it's the true spirit of yeah. metal right now nah, why we play so less yes we take the best concerts and then we have fun yeah. and we don't want to play every weekend because we have all families and yeah. we like we love our families and that's The, the, the best thing in our love, li life, I think. I think I speak, speak for, the, for the whole band and um, that's the main thing in our life. The families, the children and so on. And um, yeah, the concerts are a big highlight. Every time in our life, of course. Yeah, we play last year in Slovenia. After Mr. Big, we were the headliner. And that was really cool. Uh, I said, no, 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 we cannot be the play headliner. <laughs> no. Yes, of course, you are the headliner. Yeah. And that was really cool and and so on. And yeah, but it doesn't matter to us. We don't earn our, earn my, our money for us. It's really cool. So we make it easy and slowly. We don't want to be rock stars. We only just want to have fun. <laughs> Something uh, I've read is that uh, Wizard doesn't get invited for the bigger, no bigger open air festivals in Germany. Uh, is that correct? It's, uh, uh, could you repeat that? Uh, I've read that uh, Wizard doesn't get invited for the bigger Germany uh, yes, um, open air festivals. Yeah, I think there are different reasons. Uh, we played Wacken um, once on, on the main stage. I don't know why they... Um, Don't let us play again on the big stages. I also I think perhaps they do not know what we can bring live and what we make for a show and for a party and uh, mm -hmm. that everybody enjoys our live sets. Yeah, and if um, someone sees what kind of party we had here, then people must will think I guess from yeah I want to have them at my festival. <laughs> I mean, if you show people what happened here in Vizina Bar, then people will think, damn, wizard, they're really good. I want them on my festival. I mean... You yeah, you're right. I, I also see the, the same way and uh, I cannot understand it. I don't know. Perhaps we get a chance. Uh, we are now uh, talking about, um, for example, Headbangers over there um, or uh, Bang Your Head. Also, perhaps there's a little chance to get on it, but... Um, It's not for sure, and uh, I don't know why they don't want. Don't ask me. Ask the, the, the um, organizers, and um, the perhaps the fans have to push a little bit more. That they go to the social networks and they wish Wizard, please, uh, Wizard, come. And um, perhaps that works. I don't know. Uh, uh, make a Facebook page with play ma with. Uh, Uh, let Wizard play on Wacken or something like that. We thought about uh, doing that, uh, so maybe our listeners can get to that and uh, the Wizards fans. Would that be an idea, uh, you think? Yeah, of course, we are. Hi. Yo, ciao. 
it would be great. Of course, we are uh, thankful for everybody who uh, wishes us yeah. and who oh brings us on these festivals. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, want to go to the uh, the sound and uh, what influence? What which bands have uh, influenced the members and uh, and the sound of uh, of wizards? I have to say that the first albums are of course very much influenced by Manowar. That's because uh, Volker loves Manowar and he wrote uh, nearly all the songs from the first albums and of course uh, we sound a little bit like Manowar. Um, but we, uh, every member of Wizard listens to another kind of metal. Uh, I prefer more trash metal like Slayer, Testament and such things, uh, Machine Head or Trivium, such bands. So Marcy prefers um, bands like Van Halen, Joe Satriani, or uh, guitar bands, you know. And uh, Sven likes Kiss or uh, Mötley Crue. Volker likes Men War. So it's a very great variety and a very mix mixture of uh, different styles. And okay, so what what's coming out is Wizard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I listened to a couple of albums last time, and uh, I I heard also a little bit influence uh, on um, a song called uh, Utgard, the beginning, it, it, a bit of Queensrÿche maybe. Uh, it reminded me. Uh, yeah, I heard it, and in the intro it was like, hey, it's, it sounded to me like that, and and what and the same was was. Uh, Taste of fear. It reminded me a little bit of uh, Ice Earth. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, personal. I, my my personal opinion is uh, I like Taste of Fear very very much because I prefer trash metal. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Sven sings uh, nearly like Miller from Creator. I think it's ah, a little yeah. uh, bit the same, yeah. and I like it very much. Sven, he hates the song. He ah. does not like it, and he don't want to play it, and uh, I don't know why. So okay, he uh, prefers bands like Kiss, you know, yeah. and so he does not like that so much. Uh, okay, he, he he performs that, but it's not his uh, the song he he would uh, laugh yeah. for all time. But for my, it's my absolute favorite song on the last album. Well, it's one of my favorites as well. Um. Yeah, well, another question. Uh, there are many uh, concept albums. Now we wonder why you have chosen uh, to do so. Yeah, um, I think it's uh, um, more easy to sing about the whole concept uh, because you don't have to put a complete story into one single song. That's very difficult, you know. Um, if you have a great story, like from a book, um, then it's much more easy to um, to sing in ten songs about this theme, you know. So you can uh, put every chapter in one song, like uh, like this about this. And so we, uh, it, it for us, it's it's a little bit more easy to um, make the text and uh, the compositions uh, about one theme. It doesn't matter if it is uh, the northern mythology uh, like Odin and Thor, or if it is a fantasy story like Wuhan, or now uh, 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 vampires like the last album. Uh, that doesn't. Um, so that's not very important uh, to us, but it's it's um, easier for us to make the text for a whole story. You know. Yeah, that's it's it, uh, over one album instead or over one song. So you have uh, if you do, do uh, if you won't do that, you have to put ten different stories on one album, and uh, okay, it's more difficult to to think about mm. that ten yeah. different stories. And where do you find the inspiration now for that stories? Uh, we read very much. Volker uh, reads very much fantasy stories, and uh, he has also very much contacts to um, authors. Uh, like um, William B. Nuke, um, with him together he made uh, the story for Guhan, the fantasy story. And uh, the last album is with the author Andre Wiesler, a German author who wrote three books about the story. And we got, got in contact with him and um, he helped us a little bit out with the texts. And um, yeah, that's very great. It's so yeah, very much. It's from from the books. Yeah. But as you, uh, you 
he helped you out with uh, some text. Uh, how do you make uh, the songs? Uh, because, yeah, if you uh, can't tell a whole story, I, I can imagine that uh, the lyrics get a bit more important and don't they get in the way from the, uh, the music? Or how does uh, the songwriting process uh, uh, In the most guys? cases, it's like that um, one of the guitar players uh, have a few riffs and they prepare a song. And uh, when we do rehearsals, then uh, we arrange everything a bit a little bit so that it works out for everybody. And uh, the texts are finished at that point of time or later on. Uh, so uh, Sven sings the, the text uh, he gets or he makes himself, and uh, that's very easy. It works out for us. So um, not very difficult. <laughs> Another question, uh, are there already uh, plans for a new record or do you have already uh, a new concept story uh, yeah. prepared? Or yes, uh, we are preparing uh, the next album. It's um, not a, con a concept album like the other ones, but it has a, a theme, one great theme, but um, there are different stories in every song. Uh, the text for the next album are written by me for the first time, and I have a whole a great theme. But uh, the songs, yeah, but the songs are different stories. But all about this one theme. I don't want to tell what it is uh, at this point of time. But um, yes, we are working on it. Uh, two or three songs we are uh, finished now, and um, yeah, we have a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We expect. Uh, where could we expect the next album? Yeah, we're doing uh, an album uh, every two years and I uh, hope that we will also bring out the next album, when is it? Next year. Next year. Yeah. Next year. <laughs> so, uh, we have a little bit of time. <laughs> um, I've got the next question specific for uh, you, Volker. Because um, I've read that you uh, believe in the religion of the Nordic gods. Uh, we, yeah, we also have the albums already uh, called Odin and Thor. Um, but I, I'm curious about this. Uh, have you been brought up uh, by your family uh, with that, or no, no, it was later? Like 13, 14 years, and I was uh, Messina servant in a church. Yeah, church. You know, help in the church. The children who help in the church, the pastor, uh, the, the pastor, pastor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> der dem Pastor hilft und so, ne? Und da habe ich mir immer gedacht, so, so, mm, what, that's for religion. I have to kneel to anybody and I don't want to kneel to anybody. And, uh, I don't know, there was a sign and I said, uh, that's a, my religion, that's a religion of my forefathers and, um, I read about it and so on. Of course, we not. That's not the religion the the, the German people have ten thousand, uh, uh, thousand, thousand or two thousand years ago. It's a new religion, you know. We we know uh, yeah, we know nothing about it. But we have made a new religion. We we called it as a true. A lot of people call it as a true. The, <laughs> thousand, hundred thousand of people who call it. And it's a nature religion and um, yeah, I believe in it. It's the power of the nature and the power of the gods and yes, of course, uh, some people laugh about it and said, uh, how can you believe in 12 or 13 gods? And I say, how can you believe in one god who knelt on a cross and uh, made all saints sins away? Yes, so there so was sometimes a di discussion between Zer and me because he is a Christian, and but it doesn't matter. Or no, everybody has his own meaning, and uh, I think as long as uh, as a guy can uh, explain why he does it, then it's okay. But if you if you would uh, only say I believe in Odin or Thor um, because because it's metal and because everybody does it and it's cool then that I think is shit but if you can explain why you do it and it's your opinion and if you are really into that theme then I think it's okay everybody has to believe in what he wants and uh, but I think you have to um, 
really uh, explain, it. explain it and be aware of what you are talking about. I think the discussion discussions between Zoe and me were yeah what was, was very great and um, I know there are often people were Thor Thema and yeah, yeah and Amon Amath Amon Amath are really other two. Uh, they are one of the bands who are really other two and I am the one of Wizard who are really other two and it doesn't matter wha what think people about me and it doesn't matter what the other band members think about me and so on it's my belief and it's a religion from the old old times and it's okay I think I think his God is always good I have no problem with it. I have no problem with Christians. I don't want to burn every church or <laughs> something like that, like the Swedish uh, black metal bands and so on. I don't. I believe in 13 gods. So if there's a 14 god for me, it doesn't matter to me. No. One extra wouldn't matter, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No. Um, so that's no problem for me. If you are a Christian or Buddha or something like that. Everything has this, yeah, to write, to stay here on our ass, and that's okay for me. But my belief is, yes, I, I'm an other two, but I believe in the old gods, and I, they prove me often. <laughs> yeah, they are very hard, and, but yeah, every proof is a next step to a higher level. So, that's my meaning, and... Other things say, uh, oh, I've made sins, so I'm gonna be proved. I get <laughs> everything, not you. <laughs> But some people think like that. Uh, that's not my belief. Yeah, you have to prove, yes, of course. <laughs> Life is a fight every day, and you have to get straight. And I have no problem with it. Okay. If my gods want to prove me, yes, I will stand, stand my ground. Oh, thanks for that uh, personal insight, uh, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're finished uh, with an interview, but is there something you want to let know our listeners? If there's something you guys want to tell him? Yeah. Very great that you listened to this interview. I hope you made it to the end. <laughs> and uh, yes, as, uh, like we said uh, earlier, it would be very great if uh, people who like us uh, would um, push us, would uh, perhaps go to the social medias and the internet and um, wishes us for other concerts and uh, support us in every way they can. We are very thankful for that and we know who you are and uh, we see us on stage and we make a great party and uh, see, see you all live. To every Wizard fan, you are not our fan, you are our friend. And that's really, really important for us. You are not a fan and you don't make a mystic from us, wizard and so on. We are just normal guys who have the luck to play heavy metal and to make or to entertain to entertain people. And uh, yeah, that's the reason why we make it, and that's great, and we like it play more than 20 years together we have now in two years our 25 anniversary and that's that will be really really great thank you very much <laughs> yeah we would like to uh, thank you uh, both to uh, for this interview uh, with us yeah, thank you for this interview and also uh, thanks for this uh, great show and this great party hope to see you guys again soon thank you very much right. thanks <laughs> Yeah.